Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're unboxing and reviewing these NJSJ H100 RGB gaming speakers. So these speakers were sent to me by NJSJ, so we're gonna open them up and see how good they are. So right here in the box, we have the two speakers in plastic wrap. So these two speakers are wired together. There is an aux cord and a USB type A cable. So this is for power and this is for audio. All right, so now we're gonna take these out of the plastic. So also in the box they come with this user manual and it's very big and detailed. So if you want to pause and read any of that, there's some information. And then here's the other side. And then they also have this card right here so it says happy on this side and unhappy. And it basically just has some support information and warranty information with some QR codes. So looking at the speakers, we have this uh, white kind of translucent plastic that lets the LED light shine through. And then on this speaker, we have a dial as well that controls the audio volume for both of these speakers. And then also on the same speaker that has the vo main volume control, there's also this headphone jack right here. So you could probably use this almost as like an audio dock for your headphones if you want to just plug your headphones into this rather than your computer. And then on top of the speaker, there's also a button uh, it's just a touch sensitive button and it changes the LEDs and then also you can hold it to enable different modes which we'll go over. The plastic is pretty nice on here. It has a nice just kind of semi glossy finish and overall I really like the design. They have these grills in the front here which look really cool and the speakers definitely have a gaming kind of style with these exterior features. There's also these holes in the back All right, so I'm gonna plug these in and we're gonna look at the LEDs first. So, all right, so we're gonna go over specs first. So these speakers have three inch 10 watt drivers in them. You can kind of see it in there. There's the driver right there, a little circle. And then same thing in this one. Even though they are 10 watt, they will max out at 16 watts if you happen to be playing very loud audio. So that's kind of cool. The dimensions of these speakers will be up on the screen. They're both the same dimensions. And both of these are attached to both speakers and then they connect together. So in terms of features now, when you plug in the speakers, they turn on. So, and it says aux mode, which means that the audio is coming from the aux cable that is connected to the speakers. All right, so by default, these start up in aux mode, but you can also switch them to Bluetooth mode. So if you hold this RGB button down for two seconds, just tap it and hold. Bluetooth mode. It says Bluetooth mode. And so now these are in search mode. So if you go to your device, you should be able to find them and they're labeled as NJSJ H100. So you click that and it should just pair right away, there's no password. And there's a chime. So that lets you know you're paired. If you want to exit the Bluetooth mode, you just hold it again. AUX mode. And it goes to AUX mode, which is aux mode. And now you're using the speakers wired again. So the speakers can switch LED mode when you just tap the top up here. So this is the default mode when you power on the speakers. This is just called the multicolor stream mode. And as you can see, when I tap that, the colors stop moving in the position that they were already in. And then the next mode is multicolor gradient mode. So if you tap that, basically it just fades from color to color individually. 
which is pretty cool. And then the next mode is off. And then if you tap it again, it will go to the very first mode, which is the multicolor streamer mode. So there's about five main modes, as you can see, and it's pretty cool. And yeah, the touch button works pretty well, and it's pretty simple to use, which is cool since you can use it for both the LED functionality and you can use it for the Bluetooth or wired mode switching. So these speakers actually can be turned off with this knob right here. So if you turn it to the left, it clicks into place and it turns off. And so that also lowers the volume if you turn it to the left, and then if you turn it to the right, it turns it on. And so if you turn it to the right, it will make it louder. If you turn it to the left, it will lower the volume. And then if you turn it far enough to the left, it will turn off. So those are basically all the main specs and features of these speakers. And now we're going to do some audio testing. Now obviously the microphone on my device here isn't going to show the actual type of sound quality since it picks it up differently. Hopefully you can hear the bass in contrast with the mid and high range and, and kind of determine for yourself what the sound quality and ranges of these speakers. So I'm just going to play some songs I've used in the backgrounds of some of my previous videos. You can kind of just hear some variation of songs on these speakers and see how they sound. High and mid-end sound really good, and even the bass drum hits, they sound very defined and very strong, which is awesome. You actually feel the bass when it hits. And then also, the low-end bass is also really good, the subwoofer bass. Obviously, since there's no actual subwoofer unit, it's not the strongest sub bass, but for the size of these speakers individually, the sub bass sounds really good. So there's that visualizer mode, which I also didn't realize was one of the features on this, so it will visualize the audio as you play it. So hopefully that gave you a good idea of what the audio sounds like. The punch on the bass drum and the kicks sound really good, the mid and high range sound very good, and even the low end is very nice for the size of these speakers as I said before. So if you have any questions about these speakers, let me know in the comments. Thanks to NJSJ for sending me these speakers, and yeah. Thanks for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one.